Chapter 39, Me. T. No one thought that the bird will give up other people, but it will dove to pick you and Jean. No one even thought that when you and Jean resisted, Zhu Feng Pa caught you and Jean on the foot, then it circled to you and Lai and smacked him using the other paw. When you and Lai was rolling over to the ground, Jin Feng turned to his younger brother Yu and Meng who was running over like a rabbit, slammed. And just like that, he too was caught by Zhu Feng in the second paw, Yu and Jean's was caught in the other paw. Zhu Feng also circled a bit. It didn't think that the two legged monsters, who had no wooden spears, would dare to catch it with bare hands. If you change things to the usual, Zhu Feng will never try to catch the other one on the other one because the two-legged monster looked at it with a murderous gaze even as it was lying on the ground and it was low when Zhu Feng didn't want to kill him. After two more laps, Yu and Zhan took the opportunity to seize the other side of the foot. Zhu Feng thought that it had just caught the foot of a two-legged monster, but its own foot was caught by the other two-legged monster. The other warriors hiding in the cave saw Zhu Feng leg caught, and they screamed and rushed out together. Everyone's spears were thrown at Zhu Feng. Zhu Feng was furious, and it bent its prominent wind blade and knocked all the wooden spears off. It was a big wind blowing, and it brought a gust of wind so bad that people around it couldn't open their eyes. When Lai and other warriors opened their eyes together and saw Zhu Feng had already carried Zhan and Meng and flew to the sky. The warriors and slaves underneath mourned, or shed tears, or yelled in anger, and others were chasing them, but soon they were left far behind. In the sky, Yuan Meng was frozen. He didn't know how things happened. He just didn't want the little slaves to be taken, and even the good brother to get taken. Unexpectedly, he actually got taken by the mountain god. And when he reacted, he was already taken to the air by his mountain god. Yuan Meng looked at the smaller and smaller figures and the ground under the feet, swallowing and slobbered up and he grasped Zhu Feng thick legs. Zhan. Yuan Meng felt that the good partner on the opposite side was much worse than him. Yuan Meng took the initiative to seize Zhu Feng leg with two hands grasped together, but when Zhan was carried by Zhu Feng he was grasped by his ankle flown up to the sky. All the blood went back to the brain, and soon after, Zhan's face began to look swollen. Seeing that Zhu Feng bird was getting higher and higher, when Zhan felt that it is difficult to breathe, he took a deep breath, adjusted the body muscles contraction, the body stretches out the beautiful muscle arc, and then cooperating with the abdominal force and suddenly he was hanging upside down, the upper body laid up almost parallel to the leg folds, and both hands straightened to grab the bird's leg. Caught it. But this position is also quite sad. Yuan Zhan is not one to give up easily, he is also courageous. He dares to do all kinds of acrobatic movements in the sky. He bent the knee of the leg that was caught, and the other foot also stretches up and used on both hands to pull himself in the middle, then he put the body weight on both hands as much as possible to reduce the damage to his feet. This series of actions was seen by Yuan Meng on the next bird feet and was plucked by the wind. Zhu Feng did not look down, but it felt that one of the two two-legged monsters on the claws was wiggling out, if the bird was not holding one of his feet, Zhu Feng was afraid that the other party would climb on his leg. The other one, Yuan Meng, doesn't want to move, it's easy to kill him, but since he caught it, as long as he doesn't fall, he bring it to the little two-legged monster. Hey! Two-legged monsters, I will make you feel my ultimate speed. One. Hey. 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 Zhu Feng no longer flew straight, it began to ascend high for a while, then it will dive down for a while, and repeat it again rapidly. Ah. Yuan Zhan and Yuan Meng were feeling bitter by it. The two of them could only remember that they couldn't relax when they grabbed their legs. Yuan Zhan gnawed his teeth and screamed. Say the same about Yan Emo. Soon after Zhu Feng left him to find the other two-legged monsters he woke up in confusion. His lips were dry and the mouth was sticky. Yan Emo swallowed the mouth, but felt that the throat was particularly painful. With an instinct for survival, he pushed open the pile of pebbles, climbed to the other side of the nest, and touched the melon that he had left yesterday. Thanks to him for not eating the whole thing again yesterday, 
and this is likely to save his life today. I am also grateful that there was a rain yesterday, and the temperature in the evening was low. The melon skin was only a little rotten, and going by the smell it seemed like it was not spoiled. There is still some rain in the half-eaten melon at this time, Yan Mo couldn't care less about being clean and dirty. When he buried his head, he went to drink the water inside. After drinking, he went to eat the tender part of the rind and kept the rough outer skin layer from his mouth. The melon skin has been pulled him, and he reluctantly left this piece and went to grab another piece. Dead birds, freaking does not know how to care for guest, even forget to bring the food to eat, that freaking bird cannot be forgiven. But when it came to the pebbles that could have ended up as his permanent grave, Yan Emo suddenly felt that the stupid bird was not really unforgivable. Yan Emo, who had went all the way to the rind, he turned it over and let the sun shine directly on his face, and pulled a thin piece of melon to cover his eyes. So why is he doing again? But why is there no strength in the body? Just like the whole person was sapped? And after feeling his own ribs, he felt like he was a lot thinner. Sure enough, rapid healing is not without cost. When his body's nutrition can't keep up, this ability to extract and squeeze energy for body repair is likely to be his remaining vitality. He has not paid attention to this matter. As a result, for the past two days he has been injured one after another, and the guide or his body is faithfully carrying out instructions that allow his body to heal quickly, regardless of whether his body can eat or not. Yan Mo wants to do a test, that is, if he doesn't eat or drink and stays hungry, he wants to see if he will die. Because the process was too painful and long, he didn't want to experiment with himself at all, but unfortunately there was no experimental observation. But he has a speculation that even if he is buried in a coffin and buried in the ground for thousands of years, he may still die, but he will not live very well in the coffin. If someone digs him out after 10,000 years, people are likely to find that it is an empty space with few things but that does not mean that he will not be existing but in the long-term hunger, he is likely to eat himself and eat himself till he leaves only a few cells. The cells need less nutrients. In theory, as long as the air is still there, the water does not disappear, and his thoughts and brain waves still exist, he can live indefinitely. This is a bit horrible. After all, what he envisages is an extreme situation, but the truth is the same. The world has never had the benefits of being able to get it. Now he does not pay attention to supplementing his body's nutrition. He may not always be able to make himself live forever. The sick doctor who can't maintain the body. If the body get weak, will he get sick often? In this world? What's impossible? The last thing waiting for him is to keep hurting, to heal, to continue to be weak and then to be hurt or sick because of weakness, and the whole vicious circle. Look. God loves him more. Regarding this matter, there is no hint from the guide, and it is entirely up to him to explore the matter. If he does not respond, he will not fall into a terrible end in the future. The health is not good, if there is no health, what is the use of those powers and interests? And his health is not good, how can he protect his children? Yan Mo thought of this, he was a little tangled, in the end he was a selfish person, to protect his balls for himself, or for his future son, it's best to not let him come to this ferocious world. The entangled thought was temporarily put aside, and through this speculation of the energy source of his self-healing ability, he once again determined that God made him transmigrated over, and indeed it was not for him to enjoy his life here. Because of this speculation, Someone vowed to eat and exercise, so as to not end up as a weak soft-footed doctor, and this point directly led to a future tribe with a six-pack ABS and beautiful priest. Zhu Feng played in the air for a while, and suddenly thought that the little two-legged monster in the nest was still waiting for it to go back, the bird immediately gave up playing around, and the two people on the bird feet were carried to the bird's nest. Yuan Meng could not be scream out at this time. He was only clinging to the bird's legs, fearing that he would fall from the sky if he so much as make a sound. Yuan Zhan was sober because he had retained his physical strength. 
he could still take the time to look across the human face bird. Although he was caught by Zhu Feng, Yuan Zhan would not give up the desire to survive. Now he had to stop everything because fighting in the sky is not good. He is waiting for this face bird to bring them back to the nest, just wait till his feet fall on the ground, he will start to fight again. The stupid bird he didn't know where it went to fly. The hungry Yan Mo hoped that it would go out and find prey on the way for food for him. If there is no way to leave the 100 meter prison, he can only wait for the feeding from the bird owner. Bored and devoid of strength, Yan Mo rolled into the shadows and called out the guide to check his scum value. The last time he was rewarded, he had already reduced 638 points, and later he was added 4 points which made only a total reduction of 634 points. The guide page appeared on the right hand. The display shows that he treated the wounded feet, Cao Ting and Yang Wei, and their injuries were light and the other one heavy. Those each gave him 5 points and 10 points, and the use of the wooden stick actually reduced him by 1 point. Finally, his latest scum reduction value totaled a total of 650 points. Correct. The herbal pack, from the time he got this reward, he hasn't touched it yet, and he hasn't seen it. Calling out the reward list, point his finger on the three words of the herbal pack, and he took it out. Immediately after the three character radiance the name of the herbal medicine package, there was a blur of things his hands, and a tea green and a herbal bag that looked like a animal skin material appeared in his hand. At the same time, his guide list also appeared the list if the use of herbal packs. Yan Mo wrote down one by one, and he planned to verify it later. The herbal pack was very small, only about one big pocket in size and it also has a belt and buckle on both sides like a purse, which can be tied directly to the waist. However, whether it is the herbal bag itself, or the belt and buckle, looking at the appearance the pouch was made with animal skin and animal teeth although the style is eye-catching, but at least it will not make people feel particularly strange it will only make them think that people who make this pocket are more ingenuity. The herbal bag has a lid and the lid can open to allow stuff to be stuffed inside. Yan Mo grabbed the cobblestones and tried to put them in the bag. The guide showed that by relying on the idea, he must personally put the relevant items directly into the bag. Put it in. It seems that this herbal pack recognizes that this pebbles have a medical effect and belong to the category of medicine stones. When he took it out, he needed to reach into the bag first, so that there will be something that was in the bag in his mind, and then after he concentrated on thinking about it or directly calling the name of the thing, the related items will be in his hands. Appeared, then he can take it out of the bag. If it is a relatively large or heavy item that cannot be picked up and put in the bag then he needed to open the herbal bag on top of the item, and focus on it or directly speak receive, then the item will be swallowed by the herbal medicine package. In short, it is not particularly convenient to use, but it is definitely better than ordinary packages. In addition, this herbal pack can go missing, so to be careful, he put this bag on the back in reward list. Conveniently. Once he took it out and attaches it to his waist, he will point it out next time and it will appear directly at the waist. Several trials have proved that this herbal package is not all what it seems. It has nothing to do with herbs and drugs. He found out that he can use it to push more things into it such as his animal skin. After playing for a while, Yan Mo put away the herbal bag and took the cobblestone. Although the herbal pack is magical, as a doctor, he is more interested in the therapeutic effect of this stone. Is the healing effect of this stone only for the shrub scalding slush which fell on him from those branches, or can it have the same effect on similar injuries? Can this stone be used for internal use besides external use? Unfortunately, this stone is a mineral, not a creature, otherwise he read know it through the guide. But for that he will need to reduce 1000 scum points. A thousand points. A thousand points, when will it be reduced? If he stays here it will definitely not work. Yan Mo threw the stone away and rolled it under the sun again. He stuck the melon skin on his eyes, put his hands behind his head, twisted his legs on his legs, and hid from the sun while was thinking. 
he began to seriously consider using the branches and hay in the bird's nest, using his animal skin to make a hang glider a possibility. It is more realistic to tear the animal skin into a rope. Or he can find a way to trick the bird to take him out, indicating that a certain surrender will do. Yesterday, when it rained heavily, he almost burned up into a corpse. If winter is coming, maybe he should jump straight down. Hey! The stupid bird is back! Yan Emo took his hand from behind his head and uncovered the melon skin that was attached to his eyes. I really hope that the bird will bring some food back. In the sky, Zhu Feng hovered over the bird's nest for two laps. It was anxious about the situation of the two-legged monster and wanted to see if it had survived. The strong Yuan Zhan and Yuan Meng were tossed in and they were able to stay awake. The two also saw the huge bird's nest at the foot. In the nest. What is that? Hey! Yan Emo, who uncovered the melon and to laid in the nest, saw a scene he had never thought of. The stupid bird is back and on the claws. Yan Emo felt a little excitement, the kind of gloating fun and the inexplicable sense of peace that he saw at the same time, he is finally not alone. The big bird got close to the bird's nest, and the people on its claws were clearly visible. Yan Emo raised his hand and waved at the two warriors who looked at him. He smiled and said, Hey, you are here too. Zhan and Meng were not thrown into the nest, and Zhu Feng threw them into the bushes near the nest. The bird's nest will be used to raise small two-legged monsters. The open space enlightens the place where Zhu Feng used to trap prey. 1. Lishan is species whose shrubs who branches when broke they release that skin scalding ooze. When Zhan and Meng were not far from the ground, they waited for Zhu Feng let them fall again, and quickly prepared. Yuan Zhan was thrown away by Zhu Feng, and he was able to roll off the ground with a body roll to remove the momentum. Yuan Meng wanted to escape, Yuan Zhan sat on the ground grabbed him, don't move. This is the slobber of Lishan. How can they dare run away, the bushes surrounded them, there was no gap. Let them go out. Yuan Meng looked up at the human face bird that flew to the bird's nest and suddenly shouted, What did we see? Was that the small slave? Isn't he dead? He didn't die. Yuan Zhan also felt surprised, can that person survive to the present around Zhu Feng? And that look, the tone of speech, Yan Emo really does not seem like a prey threatened by death, it seems that he is also the guest of the bird's nest. 